The biggest planet in the solar system has gone rogue. And now it's heading straight toward Earth. You have 30 days till this gas giant wipes us all out. What speeds would Jupiter be traveling at? What kind of havoc would it wreak along the way? And is there any way we could survive getting eaten by a planetary Pac-Man? This is What If, and here's what would happen if Jupiter collided with Earth. In our night sky, Jupiter appears a lot like a bright star. From our earthly point of view, only Venus and the Moon are brighter. But something strange is going on 588 million kilometers away. Jupiter has ramped up its speed to 225 kilometers per second. That's 15 times faster than its usual orbital velocity. So now, this gas giant, 11 times larger and 317 times heavier than Earth, is on the loose. And it's going to speed right at us until it's filled up the entire night sky. But don't worry, you could already be dead long before those 30 days are up. As it moved toward Earth, Jupiter would first pass through the asteroid belt. This region between Jupiter and Mars consists of hundreds of thousands of rocky bodies, ranging from tiny dust particles to asteroids almost 1,000 kilometers in width. But none of these would do anything to slow down the gas giant. The average distance between these asteroids is about equal to seven Jupiters in a row, so there's a chance the planet could pass through completely unscathed. And in our night sky, Jupiter would now look double its usual size. Which doesn't seem like a whole lot to make everyone panic, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't cause a little bit of chaos on its trip. You see, Jupiter is vital to our solar system and to life on Earth. It acts as a gatekeeper to our cozy planetary neighborhood, protecting us from being bombarded with giant, life-ending asteroids all the time. Why? Well, because Jupiter's gravitational pull is massive, about four times stronger than Earth's. This strong pull redirects asteroids that could be on a collision course with us. And this is good news for you because even one asteroid as small as five kilometers across could end life on Earth as you know it. Just like what happened to the dinosaurs around 66 million years ago. But if Jupiter suddenly started heading toward the center of the solar system, it could send many dangerous space rocks our way. If one of them smashed into Earth, you might not live long enough to see Jupiter swallow Earth. But for the sake of our hypothetical scenario, let's keep you alive. For now. While sending asteroids on a collision course with Earth, Jupiter could also pick up a new moon or two. The asteroid belt is home to the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system, Ceres. It has about 25% of the total mass of the entire belt. Maybe this dwarf planet would join the 79 other moons that make up Jupiter's very faint ring system. Next stop would be Mars, and now Jupiter would appear almost four times larger than usual from Earth. Now, while the red planet could be lucky enough to avoid being obliterated by a head-on impact with Jupiter, it might not make it out untouched. Maybe the newly added moon Ceres would slam into it. And this wouldn't be Mars's first rodeo either. About 700 million years after the formation of our solar system, a huge asteroid even larger than Ceres collided with Mars. That collision 
tore away part of the Martian hemisphere, and the debris from that asteroid started orbiting the red planet, eventually forming its two moons, Phobos and Deimos. These moons still orbit Mars today. Now, at 16 million kilometers away, Jupiter would be closing in on the home stretch. From Earth, you'd see it bright and clear, as large as the moon. And from this point on, you'd start to feel some of the effects of Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. This field is the largest object in the solar system, and it's 18,000 times more powerful than Earth's. It would be so strong that it could trap charged particles and accelerate them. These particles would damage electronics in our passing spacecraft, and they could potentially penetrate Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field. And that would be really bad news. Now, you were lucky to avoid one of these planet-killing asteroid collisions, but now you and everyone else on planet Earth would start to suffer from severe radiation sickness. First, you'd be incapacitated by nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. You'd also feel anxiety, confusion, and could lose consciousness. After a few torturous hours, you'd start to feel okay. But then, the final stage would kick in. You'd experience tremors and convulsions before ending up in a coma, or worse. If somehow you survived this, the ultimate end would draw nearer and nearer. Now, only two million kilometers away, the Great Red Spot would be the same size as the moon, and the planet itself would appear eight times larger than that rock above us. Earth would now be caught in a violent game of tug-of-war between Jupiter and the Sun. This could cause tidal heating all around our planet. Earth could become a hellhole, riddled with earthquakes and volcanic eruptions that would spew sulfur dioxide gases into space. All the while, Jupiter would be making its final approach. Now, as close as the Moon, it would occupy 40 times more space in our night sky. And as it crashes into Earth, the atmospheres of both planets would compress. This would rapidly increase the temperature, causing everything on Earth, including the air itself, to burst into flames. And in this colossal inferno, Earth would burn up in Jupiter's atmosphere until we fuse with the gas giant forever. I guess you could call us pretty unlucky to be the only planet swallowed up by Jupiter. I wonder what would happen if Jupiter swallowed up all the others, too. Well, that's a story for another What If.